as you all know the windows 11 is coming and uh, I just want to try out how the windows 11 and how the windows 10 is different from each other in touchscreen experience and also in low spec computing environment right now I did install the windows 10 on Latte Panda Alpha which is with um, Core i3 7th generation as you can see right now I'm idling at 1% of the CPU power and as you may see over here I did update everything to up to date just update it over here nothing more to update and when I go to the YouTube it's actually consuming up to like 90% or something and let me place any videos over here let me go for 4k video 4k Let's go for Hawaii. I don't think it's playing for 4K right now, but you know. Let's see how the CPU says it's about 30%. So, and I did run it with Linux Windows 11. Let me just run. So, everything passed except the CPU because it's not on the currently supported list. But, you know, I did install the Windows 11 before the leaked version and it was working fine so I'm going to install the preview version that recently came out Twenty two thousand point one is the one that I downloaded because the twenty two thousand point fifty two or fifty six that is most up to date is not really uh, is coming with error when I uh, download and make it in ISO. So. Because the touch screens are working, so I'm going to use mouse over here. touch screen that you cannot recognize it by itself so I need to install the driver later
I don't see any option for skipping this part, so I'll just open mine. I did install before, so that's why it's coming up is restore from previous desktop. I just go for new device and location. Find my device is okay. Oh, okay. Advertising ID. I don't like this one. And gaming, creativity, entertainment, not for business. don't want to share on OneDrive so just go for this no thanks Touch screen is not working, so I need to insert the driver. Uh, the driver is here. Oh. Good. So it's good now. Just want to make the screen, uh, touch screen keyboard pop up. Uh, I don't know how to do it because in Windows 11 it should work when I just set it in this way. Uh, 
me see. Okay, see task manager. So it basically uh, also I dare say one or two percent is okay. And let me go to the YouTube. Oh yeah, and search for four K. Again, we use the Hawaii 4K Hawaii. No, 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 no. What's that? This one. Again, I don't think it's going to play at 4K. Let me play at 4K. Place not bad, and the uh, CPU usage is much lower with lower clock speed. But I'm sure it's doing in the uh, GPU part. Yeah, the, the inter integrated GPU is doing its job. And yeah, I think it's quite good so far. And if you guys want to know anything, or if you can, if you want me to try something, some features by touch or whatever, uh, let me know. I will try to do it for you and because I also not really sure what's really different, what kind of touch features that Windows 11 has compared to Windows 10, and also I didn't really uh, look at the details on the web how to configure or how to what what to do with this and yeah this preview uh, i think it's quite okay quite okay quite responsive uh, I feel like more light than Windows 10 of course you know, Windows 11 it just came out and later when it gets more updates it's going to get also heavy but at this moment it's much lighter with older hardware If I have bigger touch screen, I think it's much better experience, indeed. Just now it's too small. Uh, by the way, the touch screen that I'm using is 7 inch and 10, 24 by 600, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, 1024 by 600. It's pretty small, but yeah, it's, it came in slightly funder when I ordered it. So, okay and yeah let me know if you want to try if you want me to try anything else so and thank you for watching and yeah see you on next video